Hello guys! Today I would like to show you how to make this beautiful summer dress by creating pattern on mannequin. It is midi length, super tight around the waistline. The best fabric for this type of dress is non-stretchy cotton with happy summer print. You will need about 3 meters of cotton, scissors, mannequin, sewing machine, masking tape and lots of enthusiasm. Starting with masking tape application. I'm going to do only one side of the mannequin because both sides are mirror accurate, probably more accurate than our bodies. Starting from the middle, I'm moving from central line towards sides then to the back towards the back central line. I go over the lines where I want my top to be so I can draw with the markers on it. Do not try to apply masking tape without any crinkles it is not possible. Don't take any notice of crinkles, try to flat them as much as possible to the body. All we need is to get as much accurate shape as possible. Then I take a marker and started drawing, following lines on mannequin. Central line going above breast area, where I'd like the, the corset to be, then smoothly moving to the back. Mark the waistline, moving to the back. Then mark the back side lines, dividing side back and central back panels. This way we end up with four panels for the corset of the dress. I prepared some paper and started to apply panels separately after carefully removing them from the mannequin. Masking tape is ideal for this sort of manipulation. It rips off easily, doesn't ruin the mannequin and sticks easily to the paper. I start with panel 1, the back central panel, carefully sticking it to the paper. Don't worry about missing lines, I can always redraw them and I will have to straighten lines anyway on a second part. Cut around the shape and mark it with number and name of the panel, so you don't get confused later. Moving to second panel, side back. Trying to apply it to the paper as accurate as possible, then cut and sign. The third panel front side is the most difficult, so I put it aside for now and move to the part 4, central front panel. Again, apply it to paper. Cut out, mark it with number 4 and put it aside. Back to panel 3. This is the most complicated pattern because it's the most shaped. So take time applying it to paper. I wish I'd used more masking tape from the start, but it worked out okay. Now I'm going to check all panels on each side. All sides should match lengthwise with each other. After check is done, I'm going to transfer panels each by each to separate sheets of paper, creating proper pattern with 1 cm seam allowance. Starting with tracing around the panels, then even lines with help of bended ruler or pattern master and go over lines with thicker marker. After that, add 1 cm allowance all the way around. I strongly recommend to name your patterns. I usually mark it by style, cut, size of the garment and part. Style is the name of your chosen garment. Cut is how many parts will have to cut out in total. Size is a size and part is the name of the panel such as front center or back center and so on. Plus the grain line of course, which means that this part and piece should be placed on the lengthwise grain of the fabric. After all patterns are ready, I double check each length side. They all should match. The top of my dress will be double layered, which means that top and lining are going to be the same. So I'm cutting not two parts of each pattern, but four. Two will go to outside of the dress, two on the inside as lining. Also, I would recommend using non-stretchy fabrics such as cotton, it will be easier to follow grain lines. I also would like to talk specifically about this part. As you can see, I could have 
just cut out one uh, join this together make it a little bit straighter and just create one part of it but if you can see there is a slight bend in here so it looks much better uh, on the bust area that's why I decided to spend a little bit more time create a little bit more parts but it will fit a little bit more better so back to original part cut it out Basically, we'll have to cut four parts of each panel, making in total 16 pieces. Half will be the top and half will be lining. I take two center front panels, pin them together, then make a stitch with sewing machine. I've got two parts here. I will have to join it on this side with one centimeter seam allowance. If you can see I started here I did not start all the way here because here we also will have to uh, bend a little bit this way so please please start from here make sure this is 90 degrees and now I'm going to join our side front panels touch one side to here and one side to the other side yeah, so this is how it's going to be you see but first pin the side front panels to center front to make sure that lengths are matching then stitch it with sewing machine allowing one centimeter allowance so this is our front top I'm going to put it aside because I'm going to work on the back of the top okay is it this way or is it this way <laughs> let's check it uh -huh. If you're not sure which side which side to attach to just take out patterns paper patterns and try to match together even I got kind of confused when I opened this like do I attach this side do I attach this side next I pin the panels together and stitch on sewing machine with one centimeters allowance this is the center back that's where the zip going to go okay going to be inserted so we'll have to allow here one and a half centimeters Now I'm going to attach side lines of front and back top of the dress and only then will iron it the whole top. Mm -hmm. And the other side. This is whole dress. Okay. Right. This is the back. This is the front, and we are touching now sides. Now I'm going to iron it. Yeah, and I'm going to open every seam. And the reason for that, I'm not going to use an overlock or anything like this. So I'm going to create second top exactly the same, which is going to play a role of um, underlining. So one part will be on the top, the other one on the other side. Created both sides. As you can see, double layered. I've opened each seam because when I will turn it over this way, yeah i want to make sure that this seam kind of lays flat what else have i done i made sure that i pinned this um, seam very even together this should look like continuous seam you see that's how it should look like therefore i pinned every single seam on each side like this way this way this way so what i'm going to do now i'm going to create a stitch 
on a sewing machine with one centimeter allowance all the way around here 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 and including here as well yeah so it's going to be a little bit lower and then this way this way this way this way this way and after that I'm going to turn it over and iron it and in that case I will have to open this seam as well when I'm ironing because I want to make sure that it looks fabulous okay guys I start sewing from side towards the center secure my stitch there then run stitch from end of another side toward the center again this way the arch of the center of v-neck looks more professional Cut out excess fabric from central line so it will be easier to iron. Then turn the garment inside out, checking all cross seams, they should all match. Even out the outline of the top approximately, the top seams will have to be ironed anyways and I will show you my tricks how I do this. I already ironed this um, side and I'm going to show you how I'm going to iron this side. You'll have to open it. And then you would have to open this middle seam and iron it. With cotton you can use quite high temperature. Mm -hmm. Now you see that we've got this curve here and it, it's kind of difficult to iron so I've prepared this hum and if you don't know what it is, it is specifically designed two iron curvy items and I made this one by myself and I can leave you a link below for a tutorial how I make it I've designed four different uh, shapes so yeah people find it quite uh, useful try to find perfect angle perfect curve and then iron it like so around sometimes it's super curvy so yeah you can manipulate the ham anyhow you want to that side okay now we're going to turn it inside out now we try to find a perfect middle to make sure there is no excess fabric left inside and then iron it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also make sure that you uh, iron properly here properly properly ironed and flat so it looks absolutely perfect if you look yeah it actually looks good from both sides it doesn't matter which side uh, you choose that's why I love double layer one side could be inside one side will be outside it doesn't matter anyhow it will look cute so I'm going to do next I'm going to work on a skirt for the upper side of the skirt I measured full width of the top from one side to another. Then multiplied by two, this is going to be the width of the skirt at the waistline, which is going to be gathered twice less, back to match the width of the top measurement. As an example, if your top width is 70 cm from one side to another, then the width of the skirt at the waist measurement would be 140 cm twice as more that is because it's going to be gathered back I chosen the length of the skirt to be 40 centimeters cut the piece out and prepare for gathering I did not film the stitch for gather but basically you need to choose the widest stitch in my case it was number five for easiest gathering then I start with one end carefully pulling the thread from one side, making sure to choose strong quality thread so it doesn't break. 
After I've gathered half of the skirt lengths, I applied that side of fabric to one side of the top to match the lengths and even all gathers. Then I start to gather the skirt from another side towards the center. This time I did not use the gathering foot because this fabric is very easy to gather. After whole gathering done, I check the widths again by matching it to the widths of open top. Next I'm going to attach the gathered waistline of the skirt to one part of the top from the inside. For this you will need to open the top and start hand stitching. I prefer hand stitching before making stitch on sewing machine that is again to make sure that everything matching and in places. This is how it should look on the right side, so I'm going to stitch it on sewing machine next. I ironed the waistline with seam allowance facing upwards. So I'm not going to overlock the seam because it's going to be inside at the inside the top of the double layer this is the precise reason why i decided to do double layer top i ironed the edge of the inside top within one centimeter allowance for now i'm going to just pin it in places i'll have to insert straps before i can run a stitch on the sewing machine For straps, I prepared one meter long ribbon from the same fabric, folded with hot iron and measured one and a half centimeter aside. Then cut it along the grain line, making a ribbon. For now, I create one long strap, which I will divide into two after measuring precise lengths of straps needed for the dress with the help of the mannequin or just putting it atop on my own body. In my case, the straps ended up being 37 centimeters long each. However, in your case, it can be different measurement if you have longer body and so on. So make sure that you measure it precisely. Then double fold the ribbon again to inside, creating proper binding ribbon. Pin it all the way through to hold it in place before start sewing. I use normal sewing foot on my industrial sewing machine to stitch the strap. I allow 1 mm allowance to the edge and start stitching. If you have problems to make stitch so close to the edge, make it 2, 3 or 4 mm allowance. It is not a problem. Then I cut ribbon into two. As I mentioned earlier, the both 37 cm long. I make small incision about 1 cm wide at the top of the dress exactly where I want to insert my strap. Then turn it inside out and stitch over with sewing machine in order to secure the strap in place. Make sure to do it for all ends of straps. Here I prepared lower part of the skirt which I already gathered. The width measurement for lower skirt part is twice longer than width for the middle part because it's going to be gathered. For example, if your top waistline was 70 cm, you cut 140 width fabric for middle skirt. Then for lower skirt you cut width 280 cm. 
It is up to you what lengths to make lower skirt. It depends on your height. In my case, it turned out to be 43 centimeters. After I pinned gathered lower skirt panel to middle skirt panel, I turn it over to see how it looks and then go to sewing machine. I didn't film stitching of lower seam because it's pretty self-explanatory and because this particular line won't be covered by any layers, I have to overlock it in order for it to look neat. Next, attaching zip to center back. Find matching color zip, doesn't matter what size, as long as it reach the hip line. Place one side to the edge of the outside top and pin it. Do it the same to another side. I won't make full tutorial on how to insert zip here because there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube showing how to do it. The only thing I'll mention that you definitely will need zip foot for your sewing machine. So the needle could stitch closer to the edge after you stitch one side of the zip to front panel, turn the back of the dress panels inside out and repeat the stitch on another side. This way the right side of the zip will be stitched inside. Cut excess fabric at the corner and turn it inside out again. Do exactly the same for another side in order to end up with beautiful zip, as you can see here. Next part is a bit complicated. I need to overlock back central seam starting with zip above 5 cm the waistline and continue all the way down to bottom line. Do the same with the other side, that is so everything looks neat. Only then I finally will stitch the inside bottom line of the top to the waistline. So yeah, this is overlocked uh, edge all the way down to the bottom and on another side. And as you can see here, I've done hand stitch here because it will be so much easier to uh, sew it on the sewing machine afterwards. I'll run it on a sewing machine, literally going with needles here in between and because I uh, stitched it also with hand I secured it by hand I know for a fact that my stitch will go here and that being here I'm finally going to join this back seam together making sure that all these lines matching or I forgot to show you guys how I've done this edge it's pretty simple as well, it's roller hem. You can see it here, yeah? I uh, bend it once, then second time, and so on. Yeah, that's pretty much. The dress is almost ready.